My plane is delayed. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna tell you all a mind trick. And I want you to pay attention because this might be the most important video you ever watch in your life. What I want you to do from now on is try and remember your last thought before you go to sleep. Now, when you do this, it's gonna turn your brain on and wake your brain up, and then you're gonna struggle to sleep. So don't do that. It's gonna take a little bit of practice. It's gonna take about a week or so where you learn to be zen and fall asleep and allow your mind to fall asleep while remembering what you're thinking about and categorizing them. And the point is that when you wake up the next day, you should be able to tell people what the last thought you had was before you went to sleep. Because you've never probably thought about this, you're not aware of this, but your mind is drifting in all different kinds of directions before you fall asleep. You're thinking of this, you're thinking of that, thinking of that bitch, thinking of that memory, X, Y, Z. And you don't remember the last thought that you had before you finally lost consciousness. But once you've trained your mind to remember it, something very interesting happens. And what happens is, when you remember your last thought before you went to sleep, you start to remember all of your dreams and all of your thoughts you have when you are asleep. Because you only live in the present. You only live in right now. Everything you've ever experienced in your life is remembered. And you remember all of your experiences from reality the same way you remember your dreams from your unconscious. You remember them the same. It's the same imagination. So when you begin to remember your last thought before you went to sleep, and you begin to remember every single unconscious thought you ever had, what becomes very interesting, thank you very much, thank you. What becomes very interesting from there is you get a lot more control over your subconscious mind and over your dreams. You get the ability to affect your dreams with your mind. You become a lucid dreamer like I am. I can't have a nightmare because if I start to dream of something, which is less than perfect, in my dream, I just click my fingers or do some Aikido and change it. If my plane starts to crash, in my dream, I click my fingers and I have a parachute. I control my dreams, I control my mind absolutely. Now what's really interesting is this, if you remember your entire life, you're awake, your conscious experiences, the life you've lived that you remember, is all inside of your mind as memories. But if you start to remember all of your dreams without fail, and these are dreams that you can affect in real time, you now get to remember and have a catalog in your mind of an entire life as a superhero. I have lived an entire life in my subconscious while I was asleep as a superhuman. I have all of the memories. I have years of memories of living a life in which I could fly. Call me crazy. I know you're sitting here. Some of you will not understand what I'm talking about. Some of you will understand what I'm talking about. But the point is that my mind has two lives in it. I have my conscious life and my unconscious life. I've lived both. I remember them the same. I have trained my mind to do this. So in my living years, in my human experience, I've lived twice as long as you have. This is why I know twice as much as you know. I've lived more life and I've lived more life inside of my mind because my mind has been trained. Do you understand?